Now let's look at the perfect offseason for the Baltimore Ravens. First, they need to get their defensive coordinator. It's looking like they're going to get the guy from Michigan, which I think is a great hire. You got the defense that from Michigan that played very well this year. Brought him to the playoff, Aiden Hutchinson. The other pass rusher they had that had 11 and a half sacks. Possibly the Ravens pick him up in the draft, maybe. But I think that's a good move at the defensive coordinator position. Definitely Harbaugh and that staff always know what they're doing. So with this team, they battled a lot of injuries during the season. Three running backs lost before the season. And then Marcus Peters goes down. This team, really biggest enemy was injury. And if you don't see them have those injuries, I think you see them in the playoffs playing for the divisional round. Maybe even the AFC Championship, they were that good. Maybe the Bengals don't have the success they have if it wasn't for the Baltimore Ravens injuries or the, even the Browns injuries. So let's get into what they should do in free agency. Now you got some guys coming up, guys coming up off contracts. So Brandon Williams is a guy I think they need to resign. Although he's very injury prone, he's one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL when he is healthy. And that's a piece you can't just let slide. With the injury proneness, I think you have a chance to get him back on a good deal. And then you bring in Deshaun Elliott, who's a good safety, got injured this year too, lost for the year. But when he was playing, he was obvious, He was one of their best tacklers, one of their best players on the defense. I think that's a good piece going forward for the future. And I think you got to bring back Anthony Everett. Corner position, corner possession was down. A lot of guys were injured, but he stepped up and he was a guy you can trust. So I think bringing him back on a decent deal would be great for this defense. Great for their depth when Marlon Humphrey, those kind of guys get back. Maybe Jimmy Smith, you bring him back on a veteran deal because... He's still a great corner. When you when you got when you go through the year and you lose all those corners, it's always great to have a guy like Jimmy Smith back on there. And then you look at this offensive line, Bradley Bozeman. I think that's a good center piece. He's one of their best old linemen this last season. You bring him back for this to be a, that veteran to go with Ronnie Stanley. But then you draft other offensive linemen, of course, for the other positions. I like those kind of moves, but you got to let Sammy Watkins go in free agency. His production this year was not as where it should be, and he was a little injury prone as always. No offense to him, but he wasn't giving what he was supposed to give when the Ravens took a chance on him. He will he'll be successful down the road somewhere else, but if you want Lamar Jackson to have the success he needs to have, MVP kind of success, I think you bring in another receiver, possibly trade for Calvin Ridley, be in that mix, and bring... Calvin really at the receiver one with Mark Andrews, who had 1,000 yards this year receiving. He's one of the best tight ends in the NFL, always one of the best tight ends in the NFL, but I think he was top three in the conversation this year behind Kittle and uh, Kelsey, but numbers-wise, probably one or two. But you look at Hollywood Brown had a good season this year. He had 1,000 yards, definitely you know, uh, jump those expectations because everybody's saying he's not a good receiver. Bart Scott was coming after his neck, but... Proved him otherwise this year, had a good season. But if you look at a guy like Emmanuel Agba, that's a guy you could pick up from the Dolphins. Nine sacks in back-to-back -back years. I think you add him, that's a younger piece for this defense. Who had Calais Campbell, Derek Wolf, these kind of older veterans. I think you need to get younger on that defensive line and younger on the offensive line. So let's head to the draft. Let's see what they should do. I think with the 14th pick, Charles Cross, if he falls from Mississippi State, you know, Anything can happen on draft day. So if he falls to 14, that's a guy you got to pick up. Ron, him and Ron, Ronnie Stanley will definitely solidify those tackle positions. And that will be huge benefit to Lamar Jackson. Or if you don't want to go offensive line, you could go Jordan Davis from Georgia. That's a great pickup for this defensive line. I think that will improve them and provide very provide some use to this defense. Looking at some other needs for this Ravens team. Wide receiver position, second or third round. Hey, this wide receiver depth at this in this draft is huge. There's receivers that can go be your first. You could you be could be your best receiver at on any team on in this draft, and it's really exciting to see. I think Traylon Burks, all these names, they're not going to fall to the Ravens, but uh, John Mechie or Jameson Williams. I think that guy is definitely a guy that can possibly fall to the Ravens in the second round because due to his ACL injury, that's a guy, but. He's his talent wise, anybody can still pick him up in the first round and take a chance because you never know with ACL injuries or any injuries now in the NFL. The comeback time from it is sped up. So I think Filele from Minnesota is another tackle they can get either if they don't 
hit on an offensive line in that first round with the 14th pick. I think Falele out of Minnesota, 6'9", 400 pounds. That is an animal and a monster. I want him on my offensive line if I'm the Ravens. Moving past the draft, you just got to get healthier than this offseason. You get your guys back, J.K. Dobbins, 800 yards in the in his first season before he got injured. You bring him back, I think that's a 1,000-yard rusher when he's healthy because he played, like, what, 15, 12 games in his first rookie season and he had that damage. And he wasn't even the star to him and Mark Ingram were sharing time. But him and Lamar Jackson, Gus Edwards coming back off injury, it's a, been a consistent 700-yard rusher. Just health. That's what it's all going to come down to this Ravens team. And when they put it all together, you bring in some pieces. Chandler Jones, all these guys in free agency, they just need to get younger and build through the draft like they always do. They never really miss in the draft. I like what I've, I like what I've seen from this Ravens team, but it will all come down to health. So that's all I have for you. As always, peace.